Welcome to our live session on 2D world building with Tilemap and Cinemachine for 2D. My name is Matt Schell. I am an online evangelist with Unity Technologies. And today I have for you a lovely little demo created by my colleague Andy Touch and the members of the content team here at Unity. The character is called Penny Pixel, and we've made a little platformer game uh, using Tilemap and Cinemachine. So here we have our character. She can run around. We've got some cool waterfalls we can go behind, some prefabs that we can collect with particles. Um, and we have a level that has been built using the new tile map tool. And so we're gonna look at how to create this level, uh, how to do these animated tiles, how to do these rule-based tiles. We're gonna look at a prefab brush that we're using to spawn the gems uh, and how to do tiles on different layers. Like you can see, we have trees in the foreground uh, and in the background. We're going to do all of that today and all of these assets are in the project that I have provided for you at the link on your screen. So you can download the assets to follow along uh, at bit.ly tilemap live. And just wanna give a shout out to the maker of the gems asset that we used here. Uh, that's Orin Sky and they're a uh, content creator on the asset store and you should check out their stuff. Um, so the goals for our session are that we are going to learn to use Tilemap to quickly build 2D level designs with tiles and brushes. And I'm gonna explain what those are. We're also gonna learn how to procedurally create platforms and waterfalls using rule tiles. This is one of my favorite new pieces of the system and it's a ton of fun to work with. And we're also gonna learn how to use Cinemachine in the context of a 2D platformer game. So you guys may have seen Cinemachine in some of our keynotes. It's a new big feature in Unity. It's really cool. Uh, and we are now adding 2D support to it. So a bunch of cool stuff that we're gonna to do today. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to get a quick definition of the sort of parts of the system we're gonna be working with in terms of the tile mapper. And I'm gonna show you how to set up your own tiles in the next segment.